Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making a dairy-free creamy potato soup. So this will take about five minutes to make. It's just done in your blender, really easy, really quick. Let's get started. So today I'm using my small blender, but you can use a bigger blender. You could double or triple this recipe as well. It's really, really versatile. So first of all, I'm adding some pre-boiled potatoes. I've just had these sitting in the fridge for a day or two and I'm going to use them in this recipe. And I'm putting in two and a half small to medium sized potatoes. And I've also just chopped the other half of the third potato into small pieces. So this will go onto the soup at the end. So it's not just all really smooth. It will add a little bit of texture. So it's totally up to you whether or not you want to do that. Otherwise, if you don't want that, you just want a smooth soup, just put the three potatoes into here. Next, I'm adding half a cup of cashew nuts. Now, I haven't soaked these, but if you don't have a very powerful blender or you prefer to soak your nuts before using them, then by all means do so. And just be sure to drain off all the liquid before you blend it in this mixture. Now, I'm also adding in one cup of boiled water. And I'm adding in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. This is an optional extra. If you don't want to use nutritional yeast, just leave it out. Or you could even just add maybe two teaspoons of miso paste as well, which would also add a nice cheesy sort of flavor to this soup. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a clove of garlic, and one tablespoon of sliced scallions. And finally, I'm adding one fourth of a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of onion flakes, and one teaspoon of mixed Italian herbs. Now, I'm not going to add any extra salt at this stage. I'll taste it at the end and just season as required. So you can leave out salt altogether if you don't use it or add to your own personal taste. And it's time to blend up. Okay, so this has been blending for about two or three minutes and it's all nice and creamy and incorporated. If you wanted a thinner soup, just add some extra water into this or even some plant-based milk and that would make it extra creamy. So I really like mine nice and thick and rich. I'm gonna pour this into a bowl, give it a bit of a stir through and then just top it with the pre-chopped potatoes and some extra chopped up scallions. You could even put some nutmeg on top or some um, smoked paprika would be nice sprinkled on here as well. And this is ready to eat, eat, eat. <laughs> I'm so hungry, give this a taste test. Mmm. Mm. So creamy, so rich. That beautiful hint of lemon through there is just absolutely delicious. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Remember, I put out two new videos each and every week and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Bye for now. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm.